guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new today we have this awesome um, young nail fiber gel extension kit I got this kit a while back when it first came out um, and it's a fiber gel obviously kit but if you like to do full cover um, like the gel X method this is your kit so let's go ahead and get unboxing if you guys are interested in this kit it is actually on sale right now at yn for 76.97 cents so the first thing i pulled out was a protein bond here are the three fiber gels that come with this kit and all these fiber gels have keratin which will help your nail grow so the first one is their standard one it's like this beautiful pink this is new to their line it is a beautiful nude i actually have used this nude color i think on my sister i don't know and we have a beautiful milky white again all these polishes are all uh fiber gels and have keratin which will help your nails grow as you're trying to you know make them look beautiful you can go ahead and apply it onto your natural nail or you can go ahead and use a full cover tip to extend your nail the next little item i'm pulling out from the kit is this beautiful diamond bit um, we got some full cover tips that they provide in the shape of almond honestly i think i wish they would ask what um shape you want in your kit because you know not a lot of people like almond i love almond but i have a lot of almond full cover tips so i would love like a coffin or even the stilettos but yeah you also get this 150 um zebra a file again i love their tips i just wish you could say but i guess they do it because this way they don't have to like build it when you order it's more of like boom grab it put it in the box and ship it out again guys if you are interested in this kit it is right now on the young nails website going for 76 dollars 97 the regular price is 109 round it up to like 110 dollars so they're having their black friday sale their everything on the site is 30 percent off and if you guys are interested in mystery boxes they actually have some at their site so the next item I'm pulling out is their swipe which i love and you guys always hear me say you know swipe which cleans the surface of the nail gets rid of all your natural those natural oils as well as this dust this cute little e-file pen is like my favorite i love it you get this awesome lamp and guys i'm not gonna lie to you i've been thinking about getting one because you know i like my little kiara sky one but it's a little pain of butt i ain't gonna lie so this is everything you get in this awesome kit again it's on sale right now guys the sale is on until november 28th until 12 o'clock um pacific time so technically here in eastern time if you're you know new york and all that um ends at three o'clock in the morning so you got more than enough time to get yourself on the site and do a little show open because i did already and just an FYI guys, I went and I ordered my little mystery boxes and as promised, I went ahead and I ordered a medium, an extra medium mystery box, which I will be doing a giveaway with. And once I get my box, I will be doing a live stream because I just feel like I can't sit here, record and then edit everything. No, I want you guys to grab get my reaction genuinely and i'm pretty sure you've guys seen on youtube all the items that have been coming in these un um, mystery boxes but your girl right here has not 
has refused to even take a look at it i genuinely want to be surprised because this is my first year buying mystery boxes from young nail and i want to be shocked or disappointed whichever way so i'm all for it so make sure you guys stay tuned for that live because most likely my son my daughter and my husband will probably be around so they'll probably be chiming in from time to time and you'll hear them and you'll hear me uh, you'll hear my shenanigans and as well as my family's so yeah so let's get back to this little cute kit so now here i'm looking at playing around with this um e-file pen it is the most cutest little thing according to the little direction it is up to 10,000 rpms um you can go forward you can go backward and it comes with a cute little light all you have to do is just push in your bit whichever one you can you want to use again this is really they put it into the kit so you can go ahead and um buff the inside of your full cover tips you can use it on your natural nail but because it's 10,000 rpm is not recommended but by all means go for it if you got strong nails just don't put too much pressure on your on your e-file when you're gonna go ahead and your um uh which we'll call it sanding sanding um buffing the surface of your nail because again it is going 10,000 rpms and normally I use at least the highest I will go on my natural nail is 5,000 rpms with a sanding bit that is extra fine and look at me showing you guys the light I thought it was the most cutest thing even though but I'm still blind again I can't see I could see but I can't see it's a weird thing it's like my eyes like to play um, games with me like sometimes I have to stop what I'm doing and kind of let my vision adjust and the only way that I can explain it is like when you when you're like trying to take a picture and your camera is trying to focus so it goes like it zooms in and zooms out until it gets the clarity that it's that's exactly what my eyes do so I have to like stop let my eyes adjust and then come back but mind you my glasses are literally right there anyways I'm coming in with this polish that I got from Amazon I believe the number is um 1200 i did display it on the list i have a video on my haul and if you want to know more about the collection let me know i will get it and you know it's black friday so that means that everything on the amazon is on sale so you might get a little extra dollars off so what, what i'm first starting off is applying a base coat on each nail because you want you know the surface is already smooth as it is. I could have buffed the surface of the nails, but I just didn't feel like it. So here's the color that I'm coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on three nails because, you know, I'm doing a cute little plaid set and I'm very proud of this cute set because not to toot my own horn, guys. I think it was a bomb.com and I did a top-notch job you guys be the judge of that and let me know in the comments but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and apply put one coat down cure it in the light for 30 seconds and then um, coming back in and doing a second coat obviously I'm not gonna show you the second coat because that's so repetitive like oh my god I don't want to bore you um, do you guys notice my cute little stand that I did on my last haul that I got from Shein or how my mom likes to call it Shane because yeah she's Spanish and you know she gotta put a she gotta change the names to everything if you guys saw the Maury show you know Maury M-U-R-R-Y no my mom will call it Maori the Maori show I remember when I first started dating my husband and we were watching or we were talking about something 
and he was like yeah you know on the maori show and stuff and i was like what do you mean on the maori show and he goes like what did you just say and i just stopped and i looked at him and i was like on the maori show he goes like no no no, no. he's like what did you just say and then i i said i was like maori that's how my mom calls it i'm sorry i grew up you know just calling it the maori show he got to take a lot of that so now he calls it maori too that's what happens when you were somebody for so many years like me and my husband's been we've been together for 17 years and we've been married only for three funny right no yeah you know we just felt it that the time was right and you know he wanted my benefits so heck let's go let's do it let's go and go down to city hall and call it a day but yeah so I am coming in here because I did say I was going to do it on three nails. Um, but I really didn't have to do it on this nail. And honestly, one coat would have suffied with this um, set because that nail I'm actually going to do like a glitter um, press, but not a press. I don't know, I was debating if I wanted to do a glitter press. Honestly, I wish I would have done the glitter press. I'm not saying that how it came out, it didn't look good. But, you know, it's one of those things that, like I've always say in my every video. It's trial and error. You do the set. You see what works, what doesn't work. So the next time, you know, you decide to do it or if you want to recreate it somewhere down the line, you know how you would tweak it or how where where do you think it will look best and so forth so i went ahead i don't know if you guys catch that but i added a daily charm color i think it was called resins i'm not sure don't quote me you guys can see it i was thinking about putting a chrome powder you know the white chrome powder the magic white chrome powder from daily charm but then I noticed that every time I put that powder on this particular polish, it kind of like takes away that beautiful like pearlescent color that it has. So I went ahead and I just put a nice top coat, um, uh, non-white top coat, just in case somewhere along the line I decide and I want to go ahead and put the chrome powder, but... Um, I didn't spoiler alert I didn't so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the two nails that I applied that daily charm color um after that I am gonna go ahead and matte uh, two of the three nails that I have the nude on and honestly again trial and error I really didn't have to matte it because I come in later on in the design and I rematte it because I want that the plaid to be matte and like uh, the only thing I want to like shine is like the glitter part you guys will see when we get there once we cross the bridge you guys will see what I'm talking about so here I am matting all the nails and then the nail that I'm going to go ahead and do the glitter press, I'm going to go ahead and apply a base coat. I originally did not. I applied a top coat because I don't know what I was doing. I think I was thinking I was going to do like a, a press on method, you know, when you sprinkle on the color. Well, technically the way that I do my press on is that I take a makeup brush and I go in and out of the glitter and pressing it on the nail. And then once I have the nail fully covered, I brush off the axis. So this way, all the glitter is nicely flat on that sticky layer from the um, polish. But because there's little chunkier um, glitters in this mix, I didn't do that. I did like a sprinkle, which I should have left the top coat wet but i didn't again trial and error i messed up guys 
so then I went ahead and I just came back and applied by a base coat and sprinkle that on the nail that's why you see one minute white on the background and then later down the video you're gonna see it goes to blue because yeah I made a glitter mess yeah it was bad I'm over here trying to be you know um save my glitter and so for next time and you know try to be cost efficient nope I went ahead and wasted that whole glitter so yeah so as I told you here I am trying it for the second time I went ahead and applied the base coat it was wet I did not cure and then I just went ahead and sprinkled on my glitter once I did that I come in with my finger just to pat down any um, glitter that's up or that's sticking out from the free edge of the nails and just pushing it in so you probably guys are wondering like what the hell are you doing are you like are you like gonna do like another set but you went ahead and you open up this like extension um kit are you not gonna use it like what's the deal i am i am gonna use it and you guys will see how i use it yes so I'm pretty much making up like my own press on nails and I'm going to go ahead and apply them. So yeah, you guys watch that. So here I am doing that little nice press. You know, we're going to save those, um, save that glitter. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the light cure for 30 seconds. And then off camera, I went ahead and I applied two thin layers. Like when I mean thin, I mean thin layers of base coat just to like smooth it out. Because if not, then you'll the glitter will just be on top and it'll be all bleh. And it gives you that rough and things will get caught and that's not what you want. So I'm coming here with my Beetle Striper Gel. This is the longest um, liner on the kit. And Oh my god guys oh my god when i tell you it was like the most simplest thing ever i was like shocked amazed i cannot believe this that i went ahead and i did that and it i did it all in one stroke but i'm gonna tell you the secret though i was not thinking about it and i'm gonna tell you why because i literally had a picture in front of me of what I wanted so I really didn't have to like second guess really try to scramble my brain and try to figure out like what exactly is it I'm trying to go for nope it was right in front of me boom I did it put my colors on I went ahead and I used my little liner and bada bing bada boom what my inner Picasso would be proud of me right now because, honey, them lines were gorge, gorgeous. And if you don't think so, tell me why. Because I think they were. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and make it like a, you know, like a tic-tac-toe type of thing. We're going to make four lines, two going down and two going across. And... I actually enjoy this part as much as I'm I enjoyed doing this set I'm actually enjoying watching it because it was so simple so easy and if you guys would hear what I'm playing in the background as I'm doing these um nails you guys will laugh because my daughter uh, is running around and I usually put her shows on so she can like chill and you know let me do my thing while she watches her show I'm literally listening to like nursery rhymes as I'm doing these nails so maybe the nursery rhymes are helping too and like not letting me think overthink this but yeah so that's what I was doing when I was doing this beautiful set. And I am curing in between because I do not trust myself. 
So I go ahead and I put it on the light and I'm going back and forth. I did this design on my pinky and on my middle finger. And I'm going back and forth, back and forth and curing in between because again, guys, I do not trust myself. You know, I am not there. I am a beginner. Actually, I'm below a beginner. I'm an apprentice. Okay, no, apprentice, no, apprentice is higher than a beginner. Yeah. Yeah. Apprentice is higher than a beginner. Because a beginner has, knows nothing. Nada. That's me. So that's what I'm doing. Curing it in between. I'm coming in with the, the brown. I can't remember the color. I know I put it up on the screen. If you want to know more, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop that little comment. And guys, since you're here this far in the video, thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, guys, happy Thanksgiving or happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a beautiful Thanksgiving spending with your loved ones because I know I did. I cooked to the point that I didn't eat nothing. If I did, I had like two bites and kept it pushing because I was just exhausted okay exhausted so back to the nail set I'm coming in here with this beautiful white it's called fizz it's from um come on guys you know from where from like my favorite store my favorite company young nails so yes I'm coming in and I am like doing the most thinnest line without thinking and obviously I messed up because I'm gonna tell you why you guys are gonna see me like going in and out into the um into the jar and you're probably thinking like what the hell why you keep going like you already have enough color on your brush why you keep it if you look at your brush and your brush looks like it has like a shape of a teardrop at the tip of it girl i'm gonna let you know you got way too much polish for what you trying to achieve so what you want to do is you want to get that teardrop looking dollop from the tip of your brush so this way you can have and come in and make some clean light lines because if not what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a whole bunch of paint at the beginning of where you put down your brush and then by the time you finish your line you ain't got, gonna have no color because all that color is on the first stroke that you put down and then by the time you get to the end you ain't gonna have no color so you see what i mean i put too you could see that there was too much color when i first started and then by the time i got to the end i had nothing so i had to go back and drag that color down so you might want to keep pay attention and again if that's the way that works for you then girl you continue doing your thing but to all my beginners out there take a little note and let me know if this works for you or not because that's what that's what I've noticed it's been my issue like if I notice that I have too much um, paint when I first start then it's going to be a problem. It's like it all concentrates in that one area. And then when you're trying to, you know, drag it, that's where you seem to mess up. At least for me, that's my problem. And I guys always cure in between because I do not trust myself. And if you feel like you need to do it, do it. Always do what works best for you and not what other people are doing unless you want to try and see if it works for you by all means go for it so this is the part that i meant that i really didn't have to mat it at the beginning i could have just waited until this part and then go ahead and mat the nail so i'm coming in with this beautiful gold from you guys already know young nails and i'm gonna go ahead and try to go over the brown line technically i should have made the brown lines a little bit more thicker but i didn't feel like it i felt like this thinness was right nice maybe the next set i'll do i might do like thicker lines because i think i have a brush that might help me with that 
well we we gotta see i gotta look for it so i'm coming in and obviously you know curing in between because i don't trust myself so i'm going one line down and then i go two across you guys are gonna see and guys you guys so far what do you guys think do you guys think this i'm i like kind of like nailed it like come on not to toot my own horn but come on you gotta give credit where credit's due and i think i did a bomb job on this one like i'm mad proud of myself and this is the first time i am doing plat nails first time so i think i did a good job i was so proud of myself i really was because normally i get a little frustrated and i'm like oh my god i can't get this the hell but i did it y'all i did it and i'm so happy so you know i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this little design and like i said before guys if you think it's possible you know give a little like on this video you know if you want to see more of this go ahead and subscribe to my channel and yeah turn on the notifications because i just closed up a giveaway and i'm about to like jump in and do another one because you know that's how i be doing and not for nothing it's the season of giving and i feel like giving back because you know i just do I just do and I feel like you know the more you give in the universe the universe tends to repay you for your you know your kindness and your generosity and everything so you know that's what I'm doing and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that would love to be fortunate and win something because I know I do when I win something I'm like mad excited I'm like a little kid I remember when I won that Melody Suzy um, e-file. I came in running here like a little child to my husband. He was like, oh my God, I won. And he's looking at me like, what the hell? Mind you, he was sleeping on the couch. It was the most funniest thing. And he goes like, what is wrong with you? And I was like, I won a giveaway. He goes like, finally, you're always participating in them. I was like, I know. I literally went on my knees and I was like, thank you, Jesus. I was so excited. I was like a little child. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and attach these nails, guys. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and use the, the fiber gel from YN to attach these nails. My little press-ons that I've created. So, you know, like always, I come in with my protein bond because, you know, I swear by it. One coat, second coat is for insurance to make sure that, you know, they don't pop off. But ironic, I putting on this protein bomb but then you guys are going to see that I'm going to go ahead and apply a peel off base coat that you have to air dry I'm guys you're pretty sure you guys seen it on Amazon and stuff and if not don't worry I'm gonna go ahead and link a little pic of it somewhere down the line you guys will see it but yeah I don't know I think I just applied it for my piece of mine so here it is here is the peel off face coat and by the way i went ahead and i ordered um a korean peel off base coat it's called jello jello i can't remember jello jello something it's korean and you guys are gonna see what it is once i get it because you know i gotta do my little reading too so that's gonna be fun stay tuned for that video because the reason why i want to do it because i want to try to create like these full covered tips like i'm creating them but i'm like but i want to wear them because they're so cute so you guys we saw apply that um peel off base coat so you guys noticed that i did not put it all around my nails because i kind of want my nails to stay on for more than a couple of hours i want it to go for days and i seen like on 
in not on instagram like on youtube people have used this base coat they say that if you want your nails to last a little longer like a week or two weeks all you have to do is not put it around like your free edge or your or near your sidewall or cuticle so you just like put it in the middle so this way it your nail does not pop off so i went ahead and i tried it i'll let you guys i'll keep you guys posted i'll put like a little clip on instagram to show you like if it popped off or how many days so i'm gonna go ahead and start that today so i'm coming in with my fiber gel i went ahead and applied a thin coat cure for a full 60 minutes and here i am coming with the fiber gel because you can use it to attach your full cover tips isn't that like bomb like that's awesome you can go ahead and attach your full cover tips to your nail and you can also use this as a base coat and i'm coming in with my cute little lamp i'm so excited about this lamp it's so small and it doesn't even take up any space and it's rechargeable so you don't have to keep it attached to an extension cord or anything like that so here i am placing it i just want to let you guys know that you got to put it in the light for a little bit longer and you have to like try not to cover your nail or put don't cover your cuticle areas this way you know you can go ahead and cure it as it goes and then you go ahead and you flip it to the other side i don't show you because again this is my first time doing something like this so i am figuring it out as i'm going as well so here i am pushing down and then you guys are gonna see me turn around yeah and look at it it looks so cute look at that guys it's so cute but you also have to remember that you do have color so the light it might be hard for the light to try to get through to cure that um polish so that's why you gotta be make sure you put it in the light for an extra minute or so i honestly put it in the light for like two minutes and then i put it for another 60 seconds because i'm just a little neurotic like that and they have not popped off because i actually went and showered um my little one and it's not like a five minute you know like a one two three type of shower no i have to literally sit there in the tub with her because she has really like curly hair and it gets knotted so i sit there and i untangle it and i'm in the shower for like a good 20 to 30 minutes trying to detangle her hair let her you know enjoy the water while i wash her hair wash her body get everything you know i detangled her hair then i put in some leave-in conditioner it's like a whole process guys a whole process so i went ahead and i put on the rest of the nails off camera and guys this is the final result. Tell me what you think and I will tell you if my nails last more than a day or so. So today is technically day one. And yeah, with this guys, I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Bye.